Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to share with you how to use the jump ring to make a simple rope chain and that will serve a better rendering for your jewelry presentation. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we started, I wanted to make sure that this type of the 3D model is intended for rendering. Most of the chain is machine made and for casting purpose it's not really necessary so this is intended for rendering purpose as starting from the scratch so i want to come into my top view and draw ellipse and roughly about this size right here you can make it thicker or you can make it thinner it's up to you and after that i'm going to draw a circle this circle could be any size that you want i'm going to snapping into the quadrant now you do not want it to have it way too thick because it may not flow it nicely so we wanted to have something is reasonable so we're gonna stay with something about 0.8 millimeter roughly like there all right let's give it a try by making the sweep one rail and i also wanted to record a history just in case this is too big or too small i selecting the rail here and also selecting the cross section so then we'll get our first link all right once you have first link we kind of need to know that if this is going to fit in all of them so let's do a test right here let me go ahead to hiding the curve so we are going to moving this one to this one and of course this one gonna end up with 90 degrees so i'm just go ahead to rotate it right and the way the rope chains to work is you have another chain in between and this the link is actually rotated into 45 degrees so i'm just going to type it 45 right here right so each of the link is linking into two link right so let me change this one into the green one and change this one into the red one so it's easier for us to see how things work all right so the next set if this is happening correctly let's take a look on the top view we want a green one next to the green one and so we'll get something like this right but we want to make sure everybody else is not touching notice that this two is actually jamming into the red one so i actually need to moving this two back a little bit somewhere like this so it's not jamming into the red one right so nobody is jamming into each other so let's go ahead to delete those that's just for the reference now we know those three set is working so we're gonna using the command for linear array and we're going to say just do a testing for five and we are going to snapping holding our shift green one next to the green one so we'll get something like this right so this will be the link structure now let's take a look on the render view and see if you like it right if you feel like this is like not enough you actually wanted to have additional so it doesn't look so loose in between we're gonna come back here again let's come back to the original three and we want to make additional one so let's go ahead to making a copy Control c Control v and i want to rotate this one uh, for 90 degree right there all right so you can see now we have this new one is actually overlapping with this one so we're gonna moving this one coming over here all right so every link that we have they all need to linking with the two links so that's the key of it right so that's giving a try and we want a green one to sit it right here and then so they will be linking together i mean you can adjust a little bit look like the red one need to be going to the left a little bit it's more even so it's not jamming into each other this one and this one might need to move into the left a little bit and then so we'll get something like this all right double make sure on the render view they look nice they are not like jamming into each other and if that were for you then we are going to go ahead to delete those and then we just want to grouping all of those all right so let's give it a try we want to use the linear array and we're gonna pick up all of this and let's say we're gonna do a five set and then we're gonna move in somewhere about here and take a look on that if that worked well for you okay so now if we want to apply it to a curve let's say i have a curve that's gonna go like this way 
we're gonna give it the first try for array along the curve and then we're gonna get this one right here and let's see what happened coming into the transform we're gonna use array along curve and when you array along the curve and the base point we're gonna pick up here and depends on how many you're going to have let's say I have 20 of them and it's still like a jamming into each other so I may change into like 14 of them and see how that works you kind of need to guess in the distance you can do that as well so maybe I need to have less like 20 like 12 of them all right so it look much better and then we'll take a look on all of them notice that they are kind of a tilted in a really weird way and that's because we have the orientation for freeform let's try row like and see if this is any difference it doesn't make any difference but you also don't want to use no rotation because that will be like that so the best bet that we have is a freeform okay so i'm going to click it here and we are just going to moving all of this to the other places so let me move the curve down move everybody up a little bit all right this is array along curve that we have here um, but it gives us some misalignment uh, right there one thing you can also try is before you actually flow or array anything you want to ungroup them and see if that gonna go better so we're gonna pick up all of them again we're gonna come into the array along curve and the base point is going to be here and notice that it's doing the same thing right and you changing the either with the row like or you changing the orientation is the same thing so this is actually not gonna work for us because we have to use four of them as a set right so i'm going to try another way right here so i'm gonna having this one and let's find out how long is it so we're gonna try length uh, 76.365 so i'm gonna make a copy and make a line straight with the polyline and i'm going to using exactly the same length all right so now i'm going to just pick up those bring right here right in the middle try to making a copy and that can actually fit in all of them so i kind of need maybe just two more set and bring out right there all right and maybe just one set that will work all right so now we have this right here instead of using array we want to use a flow so let's go to the transform you have flow along curve it's going to ask you the object we're going to pick up everybody right here beside this curve right here okay and rigid right here we want to click yes because we do not want it to be uh, deformed and we want to click on this base and also click on this target all right so you will see it flow much better without twisting or deform our wire so the first method is using array along curve if you have a single chain that's not complicated and it's just a uh, jumping hooking each other array along curve usually work in this case we need to make sure it flow nicely without having this kind of an accident all the chain go into the right direction then we will use flow along curve if you are interested in more of the class design i do have a course specific design for it i have 11 different kind of uh, class for you to use and to download to use i hope you enjoy this video please like and comment and let me know what you think about it thank you for watching and i will see you next